Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Please welcome Stephanie San Paolo with NAWIC, the National Association of Women in Construction. Tell us about your organization. That's so great. Thank you. Um, I'm part of the, it's called NAWIC for, for short. And what we do is we, our core purpose is to enhance the success of women in construction, mm -hmm. whether that be office work in construction or it be working out in the field, doing a trade, whether you're in management, any kind of aspect of construction. We want to encourage women to be how, in the industry. How do women get involved with that yes, then? Yes, how do they? Oh, they can just call us. Go to .org is a great way to get involved with us. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a way to get membership. Uh, we have a local um, NAWIC chapter here in Springfield. So we've got a website. We've got a Facebook page at Southwest Missouri. And you're the president. I am the current president of our chapter here in Springfield. How long have you been uh, involved in this? I have been involved 17 years. <laughs> I, I'm actually part of the chartering member of our chapter here in Springfield. So that was, that was one of the things that I wanted to get involved in. I was young. I was new to the industry. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to learn from the other women. And, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. I was one of the youngest members. And so it was very encouraging. I thought, oh, I just want to absorb all their experience, right. everything they know. Exactly. Do you work yeah. in the construction business yourself? I do. I'm a project accountant at Killian Construction. Wow. Yes. Have you ever built anything, though? <laughs> no. <actually. laughs> I'm just curious. Just curious. Not really. My dad would just laugh and go, oh, don't give her a tool. <laughs> keep her in the office. Let her keep all the, the administration mm -hmm. side of construction straight, which is something I knew nothing about when right. I started. Had no idea all of the contracts and changes and paperwork that goes into all all of these buildings that you see all over the city. Right, actually. Why do people get involved? I know there's a lot of reasons, but do some women want to get involved because they want to know how to do things for themselves? Maybe they're single women? Most of the time, the people that get involved in our chapter are because of the networking ability that okay. it is. It gives you the ability to know other women in the industry. Uh -huh. Also, we really encourage leadership. Right. That's one of the things that, that is big. We have a lot of educational opportunities. Mm -hmm. So there's um, online seminars, there's conferences, we'll go regional events, national events. So it's, it's the workshops, the leaders have been awesome. I've learned so much in the last 17 years. So it's very encouraging to be a part of our group, not only locally, but mm -hmm. regionally and nationally. That is so, yeah, cool. so you think mm -hmm. of construction and you would think, you know, it is probably lopsided male to female. It is. Absolutely. It is. Mm -hmm. Are you looking, actively seeking women for? the construction industry? Yes, always, always. I mean, it's amazing what I'm learning from these other women that are actually in the trades. Um, mm -hmm. I saw an article not too long ago about an all-female construction crew working here in Springfield. Oh, and I'm wow. like, oh, we need them to be members. We could learn so much from them and what we could offer them as well from us. So when people get involved, you kind of show them uh, the ropes, basically. Yes, act yes, yes. So it's, it's mostly a networking tool, but it, it also has that education to encourage you if you want to take your career to the next step. You know, if I wanted to be a project manager or a superintendent, those tools are there for you. Yeah. So there is ways to work up. Yes. Like you start in yes. that base level. Right. There's, there's yes. a ladder there. Yes. You can work exactly. your way up. Exactly. And that is empowering women. It is. Yes. And, and the fact that we all support each other is right. what's great about our organization. And I have to say, uh, it's empowering in the sense that, I mean, I haven't built anything. I don't right. know how to do that. So I feel... Uh, kind of at a loss if I were to have to take care of some things at the house. Yes. So that, that's empowering in itself. It is. And, and you can find others that, that are willing to help you. Right. I mean, I had a friend help me install a t towel rack one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, come over and help me with this. And she's like, okay. And once you've done it, then you feel like, oh, maybe I can oh, handle that can next this. task. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Well, what I love about your organization is this, you don't have to do construction. No. I mean, that's the right. whole thing. No, no. You don't, you don't. have to do construction to be in the business. To. That's right. That's right. I love that. <laughs> that is fantastic. If, if people want to get involved, how, how could they get in touch with you? Well, uh, you can get in touch with me uh, via either our Facebook page, which you just have to type NAWIC Southwest Missouri, and it'll pop up. And you can contact any of us, and that'll get in, you in touch with our marketing. Mm -hmm. um, I have our vice president is actually in charge of our Facebook page, so she's really on top of it, which is great. This if is somebody great, does yeah. contact you, though, do you help place them, or is it just basically networking? It basically encourages them to get involved in our organization. And once you're in our organization, then you have, like, open to. We have about 18 members here okay. in Springfield, and so that gives you that opportunity. And you go to nawick.org, and then that opens it up to mm -hmm. everything. All of our, you know, it gives you in touch with any member in the United States. Right. And I'm sure your website just kind of lays it out and shows it does. what It does. It shows everything doing. that we're doing here locally, mm -hmm. and it also allows you to, um, one of the things I love is that I could call somebody in California if we're doing a job there and go, hey, 
I'm Stephanie from Springfield, Naywick. And they're like, oh, what can I do for you? You're a family. Oh, it's That's like, fantastic. oh, you're in Naywick. What do you yes. need? Tell me what you need. That's Anything, great. whether it's construction related or if you need a place to stay. They'll <laughs> help you with that, too. That's fantastic. I love that. I love our group. I love our network. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for having me Thank so you. much. Next time you come on, will you jazzercise with us? Yes. Yes, I would love she to. She also <laughs> teaches jazzercise. Yeah. I would love to. She also teaches it. We love you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Coming up in the next hour of Ozark's Fox AM, we're going to be tasting some yummy Vegan food from Chef Rachel Fair, and we'll be announcing the winner of the Stony LaRue concert at Buffalo Run Casino. Don't go anywhere. Ozarks Box AM will be right back. See, you could Thank teach you. us little moves.